To Washington now and the deadly violence at the Holocaust Museum and another tie to West Michigan. Today, the suspected gunman, James Von Brunn, was officially charged with premeditated murder. The 88-year-old remains in critical condition, hospitalized. The museum, where police say he opened fire, remains closed. We continue coverage with the local connections that we've uncovered. This time, someone who says he knew Von Brunn because the two shared a federal, were in federal prison together. 24 Hour News 8's Leon Hendricks working this one and is at the live desk now. Leon? That's right, Brian. Our investigators confirmed that James Von Brunn and Grand Rapids resident Wendell Prouse were in prison together. Prouse says they never, but that he never knew about Von, Von Brunn's radical views. He says he wants to know what happened to Von Brunn between the time the two separated and last night's, yesterday's rather, deadly shooting. He was an artist. Uh, that's a pretty good one, too. That was at the Ray Brook Federal Prison in upstate New York, where the two spent and time and served time on. together. And we worked side by side. Wendell Prowse was in prison after he was convicted of mailing a threatening letter. That's when he met James Von Braun. Everybody there had respect for him, including the staff. He was a, a likable person. He never caused anybody any trouble. Uh, he just... I would have never believed that, that something like that would have happened. His old cellmate and friend now accused of murder and hate crimes. Not the person he knew would never have expected it, especially since Wendell thought Von Brunn was dead. I, I stood right here. I was standing up. I just turned the TV on and I'm standing. I'm going, what? Yeah. <laughs> it was one of those things that you get in life that you just can't figure out. And investigators haven't figured it on. out either. And that, Wendell hopes, they know. never stop doing without an answer. It's terrible what happened to the guy, and, and, and I feel sorry for him, and, and, and there's no forgiveness for what he did. But we need to understand why he did what he did, or you're never going to stop this stuff from happening. Yep. Now, we did, of course, continue to work that other West Michigan connection. The West Michigan man that Von Brunn's website was registered to, Steve Remink. We were able to speak to some people who knew him, one of which that said that he was known to have racist views. We went to his workplace in Holland where he has taken time off. He has not returned phone calls to us since we have placed calls to him yesterday and today. Back to you.